Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in a personal story segment today. A new feature on the CBS News program with Katie Couric is daily commentary by guest analysts. A few weeks ago, Bill Maher, star of the HBO program Real Time, was contacted by CBS, according to reports, to deliver a commentary, but it didn't work out. Mr. Maher joins us now from L.A. Now, look, I always want to straighten out the record because I don't believe anything I read in the press, um, but it was reported here in New York that <laughs> you wanted to do something on religion and they didn't want you. What happened? I don't know, and I'm a little <laughs> tired of talking about it, but, yeah, look, I think they should drop the segment because it was billboarded as free speech, and every night I watch it because I am a devotee of the evening news. You know, I, I love to watch the guys at 6.30 and now the guys and the gal. But it's a little disappointing when they say we're going to have free speech and then every night it's the most agreed-upon speech you could ever imagine. Last night they had someone who took the stand and said it was good to have football back in New Orleans. He did not care who disagreed. That's an outrage. Well, that's not really. F that's an that's outrage. An outrage. It's, it's not really. All right, free so what you're saying and, is they chickened course, out. You're saying they chickened out. They didn't want bomb throwers like you going in there and saying something about religion. They want guys to say it's good to have football in New Orleans. Well, okay. And yes. I believe you. I mean, it's that's, a, that's little, the way they run the like, network news operations. It's it's by committee. It's like the Bush, it's like the Bush administration. Let's not and say we did. Okay. How many how many anti Bush stuff do you want to take? You got one. You want what? Six or seven more? Okay. Now I don't know. I'm going to give sure you Bill. If you ask me a question, it'll come up. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm shocked. Um, I'm going to give you a chance now to tell millions of people all over the world what you wanted to say about religion on CBS, but you only have about thirty seconds. Go. Well, I probably would have said that I'm only the last in a long line of people to speak out against organized religion and to say that it's dangerous and a mass psychosis. And all you have to do is look around the world from story to story to story to understand that. Okay. I mean, why is Iraq falling apart? Why couldn't we get anything done in Iraq? It's because there are two religious sects who are basically at each other's throats because of a succession from the prophet in the seventh century. I and got that's it. just I got how it. kooky their religion. Okay, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> so Mother Teresa is a psychotic. <laughs> That's what I'm That's extrapolating right, Bill. Load, here. The, load the issue with Mother Teresa. Oh, well, no, I would never I say I believe this. she was a religious person. I believe that Catholic yes. charities are in every okay. every country in the world, healing the sick can, and, and working with yeah, the poor. Can I answer your? Can I answer your question? Sure. Can I? Absolutely. Okay. There's nothing Mother Teresa or charities are doing that they couldn't do without the silliness of religion attached they to it. Do There's it no reason they, why you can't be... They do it because Christianity says, love your brother, help the poor, this is a philosophy. And that's a... Isn't that right. great? Isn't and that's that a one, good? Go ahead. That is a wonderful sentiment. Jesus as a philosopher is wonderful. I, there's no greater role model, in my view, than Jesus Christ. It's just a shame that most of the people who follow him and call themselves Christians act nothing like him. Most of them? Most Christians most. are in this country. Bad? Well, most Christians don't act Christ-like. Most? If they would call themselves... If they would call themselves Christ-likes instead of Christians, maybe it would remind them to act like Jesus, right, which they don't. Right. So there's 65 million uh, Catholics in this country. 80% of the population is Christian, 300 million of us. And most of them aren't doing a good job in their Christianity. Is that what you're saying? Well, most people who are religious in this country are like the cafeteria Catholics. They pick and choose from the religious parts they, they want to follow. Uh, the ones who make the headlines, the evangelical Christians, are usually the ones who are behind everything that represents intolerance uh, and bigotry. Right, um, so. I notice, for example, that they're, ver that they're very often the ones who are hardest on, on drug use. It's very hard for me to imagine Jesus Christ going up to a medical marijuana sufferer and taking the joint out of his mouth and saying, good luck with your bone marrow well, you cancer, know, you know my why friend, he, but that's a very would, bad Jesus message Jesus would never do that. You know why? he just cure the guy. Yeah, I do. he just cure him. And because he, you know, he right away, just, wouldn't have any use for any medicine. Okay, Mar. now listen. Well, you know you're coming across as a bigot, an anti-Christian bigot. Because nobody I'm could possibly bigot. make a judgment about that many people that they're not good Christians. I'm just pointing out because you and I go back a long way, all right? And I don't think you're a bigot. I don't. 
but I think you come across I'm as a, a bigot. bigot. I think you come across as one. Here's a very specific question. Your fellow traveler in the world of atheism, agnosticism, whatever it may be, is Rosie O'Donnell. On her program, she says, evangelical Christians are just as bad as these fanatical Muslim killers. Do you subscribe I disagree to that? with that. Oh, my God. I disagree with that completely. That's right. Because one reason why the West is superior, uh, in my view, as far as tolerance, uh, is because, yes, we have preachers like Jerry Falwell and Pat Robertson who, in my view, say crazy things. But nobody takes them that seriously here. In Saudi Arabia, they speak out against homosexuals, and then they chop off their heads. Government sanctioned beheadings in Chop Chop Square in Mecca. Okay, we don't chop off their heads, certainly not government sanctioned in this country. Good point. Thank you for being on the program Thank as you. always. Watch Real Time with Bill Maher. <laughs> That's it. Do the Christian thing. Give Bill a break and watch his program. Next up, polar opposite of Bill Maher, Laura Ingram.